Hi, welcome back to the garden. As we are hitting nearly 100 subscribers, I'm really, really grateful and I think it's time to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Marin and I'm originally from Bosnia slash Croatia. And I've got my little garden here in Wologong. Not all the new subscribers or you already watching is I just want to show my journey in my garden here in Wulogong. There's a lot of channels from England and US, but there's not much from here. As you can as you see from my other videos, I have a, a garden running along my side fence and people have been asking me what I do, how I keep it so nicely and I thought maybe it's a good idea to record my journey and uh, show what I do, when I do what and uh, Hopefully people will be interested and hopefully people will get some help or guidance on when to plant what. Now today um, I want to prick out some of my seedlings that we seeded two weeks ago. So this is what I want to show you. I, I don't think many people are actually showing how to prick out what they do once the seeds are in. They just show these beautiful uh, plants in the pots and how they put the seeds in and how they transplant them in the garden. They don't show anything in between. So. Now I've got some uh, strawberries that I propagated and some pomegranate. If you want to get get some of those from me, uh, please watch to the end and uh, I'll tell you how, how you're going to get this. So we are now in the greenhouse. What I like to do is I like to give everything a nice watering, so just to make all the everything nice and damp. And uh, these are the seeds that we have planted two weeks ago. Now, uh, like I shown, I plant them in a big clump like that. This ensures first that I save some space, obviously. And then uh, the other that I get good germination, I don't have to use pots that I I don't have to use pots and transplant each seed individually. This way, I just prick out the plant that is germinated, that is nice, and uh, plant it in its own pot. Now some seeds I will not prick out. Uh, I will just leave them in. Uh, Leave them to grow like something like lettuce or even uh, basil and beetroot. I'm just gonna let it grow a bit to a mature size. They don't mind pushing one another a little bit, so I'm not gonna waste my time or space on on to, on to pricking them out and uh, making sure they're in their own individual pot. I've got this squash here that I've planted in with two seeds and I didn't think it's gonna germinate but it did so I lucky and the peppers haven't germinated yet uh, we'll still have to wait for them a little bit but we've got plenty of sunflower and uh, cucumbers are the important ones that I really really want to transplant now they are uh, at a good size where they need to be transplanted. Now let's go outside of the greenhouse. I'll put the cucumbers on the table and I'll show you what I do. I think I'll have more cucumbers than I than what I need. Once they're ready I'm happy to give some away so keep an eye out. I'll make my potting mix quickly wet. It is important to use a wet potting mix before you start planting your plants in there. Just helps with with everything with the shock. Just gently pull them apart. There is my cucumber.
I usually plant a little bit deeper, not too much, just a little bit. And give it a little bit more water. This one is ready to go into the greenhouse. Let's do the rest of them. Given a, a good watering, uh, this is way, way more cucumbers that I need, but I'll be giving some away. Now, what I do is I plant them in these little 100 mil pots. They come in a 100 pack for a couple of bucks. I reuse them, I reuse them for a few years. When I So when I give these away, actually the potting mix that's in here is more expensive than the, this pot. My friends will give me the pots back and I can re replant stuff in there. But it's not as bad if I don't get them back. Some will eventually burn. Now, all these plants have been in this one pot. Now, these are these Belgian tomatoes that I have planted. And this is roughly the size when they start putting true leaves on then you want to pull them out and transplant them in a bigger pot now I'll show you the value of these plantings I'll show you how the greenhouse looks like now after just transplanting uh, some of these tomatoes and, uh, and the cucumber also you can see The germination on the beans has been really, really bad. Whether they're gonna come up or not, I'm not sure, but no, I know I'm, I need to do another planting. I have got three out of six plants that are 100% alive. The other ones, I'm not sure. Maybe they're dead, maybe they're not. I'll give them a little bit more time. But if you'd like one of these, and you're obviously in the Lavara or somewhere on the way from Sydney to, from Wulugong to Sydney, because I work in the city, I'm happy to meet you somewhere and give them to you. So I've got three pomegranate trees that I'm gonna give away at this stage. And there's obviously some of these strawberries. There's about 14 there. So if you're interested, so if you want them, let me know in the comments below. Why you want them, where you're located, and uh, then we'll do a personal message and uh, I'll obviously make arrangement to give them to you now this is a difference here my racks look they're getting full so if you are short on space it is better to clump them all together in one little pot and then prick them out as you go this way you can choose your best plants what didn't germinate, didn't waste your space and uh, make sure you got the best quality now the other tomatoes are still a little bit small and as usual I ran out of potting mix so I've got about a week on them to buy a new potting mix so I can transplant them there is way more tomatoes that I need I will be giving them away as well so keep an eye out Thanks for everyone for watching, thanks everyone for subscribing and I'm hoping to see you next week.